Hi, I'm V, and today we're going to eat like filmmaker, song producer, I wanna fall into the walnut, aesthetic Instagram legend, euphoria queen, Kennedy Walsh. So Kennedy's diet is not something that's wildly popularized. She doesn't do a lot of like what I eat in a day videos, but she does have a few bits of videos where she does eat. Now I'm cream cheesing the bagel. I swear to God, I just saw a ghost move back there. There's definitely a ghost in this house. I think it's just nice. Maybe it likes me, so. Walnuts. So today I've compiled all of them and decided to copy what our skinny legend queen does. Now what I've discovered from Kennedy is um, I think she basically eats kind of whatever she wants. She's not a vegan, a vegetarian, or a pescatarian. She's more of like a eat in moderation. Wow! Can you imagine if we were all able to do that? So today we're going to make an attempt to eat healthy food in moderation and not stuff ourselves. I think I have a stuffing fetish, so... Another thing that you may notice about Kennedy is that everyone in her family is basically really fit. I think genetics play a small but significant role in your like BMI and your body and your body composition. However, they're not the end of the world. There's plenty of families where some of the family is large and some of the family is small. So you can fight against genetics and lead a healthy life. I don't know why I just became like a pep talker. I think I've been like reading too many books about health and wellness. Like I think I'm turning into Ty Lopez for health and wellness. So somebody stop the walnut. Here in my garage just bought this uh, new Bugatti. But you know what I like a lot more than materialistic things? Walnuts. Kennedy's Instagram is legendary. She's gorgeous. I love that she changes her hair color ever so often. Um, I'm not brave enough to do that. I was going to cut bangs the other day and I chickened out. So not only am I a walnut, but I am also a chicken. <laughs> if you do want to follow her on Instagram, I'll pop it right here. If you want to follow me on Instagram, I'll pop it right here. I guess right now we're going to head to get to breakfast. Now I'm cream cheesing the bagel. So for breakfast, Kennedy has a very typical breakfast of a bagel and cream cheese. A very American breakfast. Now here's the thing. The Wacky Walnuts is currently in Asia, and where would I go to find such thing? Well, the basic girl place in the world, Starbucks. But guess what? We're not going to a regular Starbucks. We're going to a cool Starbucks. It's a Starbucks reserve. Not like a regular Starbucks. A cool Starbucks. <laughs> right, my sweet potato wedges? Hey guys, so I'm walking through the underground right now with a thick daddy. Pickle Eye, we're going to the Starbucks Reserve. I'm gonna get a bagel there and show you what they have at the Starbucks in Asia. Whoa. So let me tell you about this Starbucks. It had carbonara, eggplant sauce. Okay, I don't know why I, I don't know why I just tried to rap. Like, I'm so embarrassing. Please just unsubscribe. Or subscribe if you're down there. So what this Starbucks had was a loaded lox bagel, a carbonara, blueberry cheesecake, sustainable tuna, and scrambled egg wrap. It had almond croissants, pastries, as far as the eye could see. But one thing that really impressed me is that this Starbucks had beer. And I don't even drink, but that sounds really, really cool. So I went and I ordered my bagel with cream cheese. And guess what they told me? The cream cheese is actually made fresh daily in-house. Wow, they're so spoiled at this Starbucks. I am so confused by Starbucks having different things in different countries. You guys know that I've made a video before calling them and yelling at them for not having more vegan options in the American Starbucks. I know a lot of like model girls that have Kennedy's body type don't normally eat carbs or cream cheese. So it was really cool and awesome to see her promoting like such a well-balanced, rounded meal. I know some people would disagree with me, but if you think about it, it has healthy carbs fats and proteins okay i know it's a little bit of a stretch but so so am i so for lunch i've seen kennedy go to panera bread and get a piece of bread and a salad and a tad of mac and cheese so this is fun i hope she shared some with her cats or else threatening people that's what i like to do on this channel bye so i set out on this gloomy but very humid wet and swamp day to go find some place in hong kong that had not only salad but also bread what i found was something called a grocery store i'm not sure you guys have heard of it but i saw a sign for a salad and i was so happy they had this thing where you could make your own salad but every time i try to make things on my own at one of those scoop your own meal places it comes out so bad like i don't know why that always happens to me so i decided to just go for a salad 
that looked the most similar to Kennedy's. So that's what I went with. And then I scurried off quickly to the bread aisle because that's truly where I belong. And the fact that I get to eat bread two times in this video makes my heart and my anus happy. So I got the piece that looked the most appetizing to me and ran off to eat it for lunch. Hello guys, I'm aware it looks like the middle of the night, but the sun literally starts setting here at four and it's been gloomy and foggy today. I think there's more pollution here. But anyway, this is what I got for lunch, a salad. I'm gonna eat it like her and chat with you guys, do a little mukbang. The bread. This will have you failing every single drug test on planet Earth and also Mars. I usually don't uh, eat lunch and talk to the camera alone. I mean, sometimes I do, I guess. I usually watch Netflix or listen to an audiobook. I'm watching the most embarrassing stuff on Netflix right now. This is the most comfortable sitting position. Don't at me, okay? On Netflix, I'm watching the most embarrassing show. It's called Working Moms. I don't have a children. I'm not a mom. And um, I don't have marital issues, but I couldn't relate. I also saw that the first episode of Lily Singh's Late Night Show is out. So I'm so excited to watch that too. Um, or if I don't watch something, I usually listen to a book on Audible. Right now I'm listening to something called The Obesity Code by Dr. Jason Fung. I'm trying to get through it and trying to understand his like explanation of how to never gain weight. I say, as I shuffle bread into my mouth. I'm so happy that I get to partner with Audible all the time because I genuinely use them all the time. You guys know how many audiobooks I recommend to you all the time. So today I'm partnering with them and if you do want your first audiobook for free and two Audible originals completely for free you can text Blair Walnuts to 500 500 or you could go to audible.com slash Blair Walnuts. Audible not only has the traditional New York Times bestsellers and like the coolest books but they also have Audible originals which are made by storytellers from all over the world that are super diverse like literature people, journalists that investigate stuff, theater people and more. So not only do you get two Audible originals for free but you get an entirely free audiobook by going to audible.com slash Blair Walnuts or texting Blair Walnuts to 500 500. Honestly it's the greatest thing ever because if you're just really busy and you don't have time to read any of the recommendations I have you can listen to them while you're washing the dishes washing your dog washing your boyfriend so I've watched Kennedy cook a couple dinners on our channel and let's just be honest they're a little too healthy for me I feel like today I've already eaten enough vegetables and fruit and I've had my feeling so I stalked her using her Instagram and I found something else that she'd made spaghetti bolognese with spinach but I needed a kitchen so I had to fly home on thick daddy airlines and cook this Honey, I'm home. Oh my God, my flower's all dead. Wow, my orange tree surviving, hanging on. My hydrangeas, my basil. This is not great success, my friends. So on Kennedy's Instagram, I saw that she made this spaghetti dish with fresh Parmesan and spinach. So that's what we're gonna make right now. We're gonna whip it, whip it real good. I had to push away all the snacks my grandma ate me. Like, I totally don't eat those. I eat healthy spinach, yum. What you need for this recipe is pasta, spinach, Parmesan, and pre-made sauce. Cause girl, we are not hand making sauce. What do I look like, Martha Stewart or Snoop Dogg? I haven't cooked in so long. Like, holy cow. Made almond milk in this pan this morning. Am I gonna wash it? No. So my grandma's here and she loves pasta. So I made it extra special for her by buying fresh pasta. Um, if you guys want me to switch my diet with my Bulgarian grandmother who eats traditional Bulgarian food, let me know, give this video a thumbs up and I'll beg her to cook for us. I'll beg, I'll plead. Oh no, the almond milk. You remember when I was like, I made almond milk in here this morning and I didn't wash the pan? Regret. I poured the little noodles into a fiery cauldron and began saying my spells. I put in a piece of my grandma's hair and I puffed it a little bit, so I think now I will conjure a million billion subscribers by tomorrow. Great success. If you'd like the link to the YouTube subscribers conjuring spell, click the link down below in the bio. It starts with Instagram.com slash Blair Walnuts. I think it's ready. Yeah! Mmm, it tastes really good. It tastes like bread. I love bread. This one doesn't look as appealing as I originally thought, but glug glug not going out of here. Oh, it kind of looks like Frito's prison burrito slop. I don't know if you guys have seen that, but. Homemade bolognese. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I thought it was gonna be a little waterier. Okay, I'm adding some of this tomato paste because I'm a bougie chef. Mm, it doesn't taste expired. Mm, it's a little bitter. Garlic infused olive oil. Two shots of oil. 
Now this potion took a little extra conjuring because I had to fix it. That bolognese sauce was way too thick for my liking. So I put in a regular marinara. I added in some olive oil because I'm Italian and whatnot. I know all you Italians are like, hey B, you're one of us. I'm like, yeah, totally. And I slopped it down into the plate. Wow, I can't believe I have a professional grater. I've never been so professional in my YouTube videos. I love cheese. Just a little cheese. Okay, I've got to make my Grammy a plate. You know when you're at a restaurant and the waiter's like, do you want some Parmesan? And you're like, yeah. And then he's like, tell me when to stop. And you're like, I don't want to ever tell you when to stop because I love Parmesan. Not you, but Parmesan. I always count to 100 and then I tell him to stop and it gets really awkward in the restaurant. Good job, Yeah. Finally, I had succeeded in a meal that my grandma would be very proud of and I felt really proud of myself. Of course, I had to cover it in sriracha because my tongue needs such flavors. I don't know what's wrong with him or her. My grandma really loved the pasta. She was really happy with it and I'm gonna be very honest with you guys. It was the greatest thing I have ever eaten. I'm pretty sure I licked the plate. Like, let's see, let's watch. Dun, 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 dun. What am I gonna do? I'm literally gonna, oh my God, that's so sad. Okay, it was that yummy. I then fell into a pasta coma and sat on my phone for the next three hours because I couldn't move. Great success. Now I'll tell you my final thoughts about her diet. Hey guys, so that was me trying Kennedy Walsh's diet for a day. I do want to do it for a week or a month, so let me know down in the comments or give this video a thumbs up if you think I should do that. The thing is, she doesn't show that much what she eats. She just posted a recent video where she said she went out with her mom to a cute little town that looked aesthetic and gorgeous, and she had chicken wings and salad and fries and a beignet, which is cool, but like I'm not getting enough information to do this for a month, so if you have any info, like DM me on Insta because I'm lost in the sauce. Anyway, how cool are my my sunglasses I um, put a lot of retinol on my skin so it's really red and I'm not wearing any makeup so this is a good way to hide it so I'm thinking I should just get a bunch of different sunglasses and just wear sunglasses in every video and then I never have to get ready Wow a life hack guys um, I saw that Emma launched some sunglasses with a company called like crap sunglasses or something is that how you say it or is it crepe like I don't know if it's crap or crepe because it's ballsy calling your own line crap like that's hilarious um, but maybe I should get those I don't know have you guys seen them anyway love you guys lots i miss you lots like what are you doing what are you up to i'm just here with my dry hair you know living my life okay i gotta go walnut out